hello all in this video i am going to give a quick introduction on start pro let's open start pro click on this icon we will be opening uh, start pro after opening start pro we can see this interface here we have start pro which means structural and analysis Structural analysis and design program in software. Here we can see many formats. Here we have project task, recent files, license, configuration, help topics. In project task, it is related to projects. If we want to create a project, we have to open new project. If we want to open an existing project, we have to click on open project to open from project file this configuration backup manager license manager if you, you are if you are using first time you have to click on this and we have to take a license and backup manager if we have files in the back if you want to keep in backup we have to click on this in recent files we will be having the files which we can uh, we have used recently license configuration in this we have three types advanced license engine start viva bridge codes building plan mm -hmm. Building Planner is a model that enables seamless generation of building models that can be analyzed and designed thereafter in the program itself. The Start.Viva bridge codes is uh, mainly used for the design and analysis of the bridge. In the case of designing the bridges, we use this, this one and advanced analysis engine is used for several structure designs. If you want if you want we can all this uh, click on and we can draw as well in the help topics we have help can if you have any issues regarding this software we we can use this one so help mm, okay so introduction means it includes a state of the art user interface visualization tools and international design codes. It is used for 3D model generation, analysis, and multi material design. The commercial version of Stad Pro supports several steel, concrete, and timber design codes. It is one of the software applications created to help structural engineers to automate their tasks and to remove the tedious and long procedures of the manual methods. The main use of this program is it will be a cost of we can make a project in less time if we have many designs we can but we have to the uh, we want these in less time this start pro will be the best so now we have go to the new project open this in this dialog box we have we can see several things here we have to select the planes so space plane floor truss okay if we have if we want to design any thing we have to click on space like beams columns structures we have plane floors these are the According to our according to our convenience, we have to use this and requirement we use this. And in next video, we will be talking about the remaining three. Generally, we take space and, and here file name. We have to give a name of the file. So I am giving this as introduction okay and here we can give the location if you want um, this file to be in in a new folder or in the desktop or in the 
नंबर है वी कैन सेलेक्ट द लोकेशन बाई क्लिकिंग ऑन थ्री डॉट्स वी विल बी हैविंग सेवरल टाइप्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सेव इट इन ए न्यू पार्ट फोल्डर वी कैन क्लिक ऑन दैट न्यू फोल्डर ओके इट विल बी सेव इन न्यू फोल्डर ओके आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस वी हैव टू सेलेक्ट द यूनिट्स generally we have we will be having seven types of units in this and force units are eight types generally we do, in this they have given inch foot millimeter centimeter decimeter meter kilometer generally in this start pro we will be selecting only meters we will give units of length in meter forces units we have then eggs we have eight different units in this pound kilo pound kilogram metric ton newton deca unit newton kilo newton mega generally we select kilo newton after selecting all these we have to click on next If you want to add beam, so select beam. If we want to add plates or to our structure, we have to click on add plate. And generally, we have in first step we have to add beams. After only we have to add plates, solids, open structure, wizard, stand, editor, open. Hmm. If you want to. Uh, Add slab, so we have to select the add plate. If you want to uh, add a solid structure like cubes, for that we have to select the add solid. Open structure will be added. If you want to uh, design a different types of structures, we have to click on this. And if you want to edit any file. already existing file so you have to click on open start editor open building planner now only i have discussed building planner used to for various design of buildings here. so we have to click on this building planner and in job information job information means if you um, we will be giving the information about of our project it is mean by our title client name engineer name like that so we have clicked on add beam this box will give the information about that add beam begin building your model by creating new joints and beams using the construction grid drawing tools and spreadsheets so this one will be the information regarding this so after clicking on add beams click on finish we can see here the interface of the start pro here we have file tab and this one is the quick access toolbar and this one is the workflow panel and this is the ribbon toolbar and this one is the view window here we can see the status bar in the status bar it will be giving the in, uh, instructions to what we have to do next this one is the grid here we uh, we design our structure required structure here we have workflow panels we have to generally we use these types to create an uh, to do analysis and uh, create a design here we have data area we, from this area we will get the information about the our length if we have 
node node means a joint so in the x direction how many meters is there in y direction how many meters is there z direction how many meters there if we have b so node a node b after connecting two nodes we will be forming a uh, beam if we have if four we have connected four nodes in a rectangular or closed format we call it as a plate okay so here we have in files we have different commands like new open close open archive view job information print printing option save save as format open recent files recent start archives etc in edit we have undo redo cut copy paste delete take picture copy if we want to take out this uh, structure picture we can click on this if we want to copy that whole picture we can use this option edit the input command file existing all these are there in view we have zoom pan view selected objects only tables structure diagrams toolbars option 3d rendering means if we have designed the structure if we want to see in a 3d format we have, we can select this 3d rendering rendering in the tools we have many uh, options like check duplicate of and notes uh, merge properties calculator you can convert dimensions display note note distance all this we will be having in so tools in this select we have various types notes or sir beam cursor if you select means if we have to select only notes we have to click on notes cursor if we have to select only beam so we have to select beam cursor physical member cursor if you want to only if you want to specifically select that one we have to select these one In selection notes options are there and if you want to select beams parallel to x axis or y or z axis plates parallel to like this we can specifically uh, according to our requirements we have we can select those objects this select option is very useful and we generally use this one in geometry we have node snap if we add have to add no extra uh, add new nodes uh, grid nodes beams plate solid structure add surface we have to click on that okay in commands we have various uh, if we want to give plate thickness here we can uh, surface thickness members properties we give in command line we can give all this uh, commands in analyze we can after designing our structure after giving loads and uh, all dimensions to that structure we can run analysis to do analyze analysis we have to click on this after analysis if we have errors it will give our error, uh, what what will be the our errors and if we have done any mistake it will give, it will also give us the mistake uh, warnings we have to rectify them and again we have to analyze this that mode in this mode we generally use modeling if we want to construct the g plus 15 uh, building we have to go for this building plan of piping system means this one bridge deck 
these are various modes of the according to our requirement we have to select this window tile horizontal tile vertical this is all one of the this one. if you want any help you can do this in in workflow panels we have in modeling we have set up geometry general analysis first we have to click on set here we have various modes in select we have seen many cursors here here also these those are there in modeling we have generally have set up geometry general analysis or print design if we so first we have to click on setup view all these details job means here i am giving introduction so my job is to view it as a introduction so we have to mention the client so x some x y z let us take if it is a job number one number one removes part reference Finally, here we have details of our project and date and time we have file size we have engineer let's say checker x y z and approved by some agents like that we have to click if you want to add any comment you have to add after giving the job information we have to click on geometry here we have you can see a grid type this is a snap grid in this area we have to draw or select beams or nodes generally it will be having 1 meter 1 meter distance from here 0 to 1 we have 1 we can modify this one also but generally we have 1 meter 1 meter distance from this so this cursor is a node cursor so we have to click on this so we have selected a node here so if you want to select a node here so click on this in this direction you can here after selecting node this is the default view. This one is the file new structure. If you want to add new structure and open structure, all these options are all only here. Here are the. If you want to save, it is cut, copy, cut, paste, undo, redo, redo. Out. giving all the introduction uh, all the requirements and uh, giving structure auto save save your file now click on yes structure has been modified click on save here we have tools this one is the printing option print preview report setup all this tables uh, input units we have to move units for that we have given starting only units to know we have this if you want to change the units we have given so we have to select this and cut section if you want to uh, cut a section so we have to select this one Here we have various options. This one is the front view, back view, side view, side. 
if we want to see our node in the, uh, this is called if we have connected two nodes this one will be called in this as a beam so if you want to see the front view back view this one will be the side view this one will be also the uh, right side view top view from top we can see this one will be the top this one in all direction we can see this if you want to rotate up rotate up rotate. these all are the rotate options center according to center we have rotate so select this one if you want to see the whole structure at a time so we have to click on the display whole structure it, these are all the zoom in and zoom out options this one is the band if you want we have selected this band we can move this object around this and magnify 3d rendering which means we can see the structure in the 3d way if you have to search any so we have currently i have give, i have not given any load so there are there is no active load option if we have given any load in that beam which load is acting is will be displayed here if you have to add beams add four node plate add surface area surface and we have to add an eight node solid solid solids we have to click on this this one will be the grid firstly we have to open this grid and select the nodes and add beam after that we have to continue our uh, design our structure if you have to insert node so click on this general surface this one is the uh, we will be discussing about this in another video inserting openings in the surface after giving the surface if you want to give an opening so we have to select this one translation repeat translation repeat means we have to if we have selected this beam will be selected downward or upward according to our require, requirement after selecting translation repeat circular repeat means in circular format with this beam will be repeated generate mirror if you want to create this image in a mirror format so if you want to create a mirror image of this beam we can select on this if you want to rotate generate rotate this this beam in the rotated form uh, rotation view we can see after giving we will be in design we will be using these all in effects uh, axial force shear force value shear result all these will be the in design part we can see yes. so thank you in this video we have seen introduction and user interface of this beam and uh, all the toolbars all the tools which we have which will be using in creating a structure we have seen here Thank you.